Solve the following problem graphically. Maximize 3x1 plus 5x2, subject to x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 16, 2x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 12, x1 plus 2x2 is greater than or equal to 2, x1 is greater than or equal to 0, and x2 is greater than or equal to 0. Well, it says to do it graphically, so that means I need to draw a graph. There's x1 and there's x2. Alright, so when it says to maximise something subject to all of this, then that means that all of this defines a region on my graph here. It'll be a convex set and it will be defined by each of these inequalities. Each inequality will usually represent a line and the less than or equal to or greater than or equal to will be one side of the line or the other. So I need to take each of them separately and figure out which side of the different lines I want. I'm going to start here. x1 is greater than or equal to 0 and x2 is greater than or equal to 0. I often find it easier to cross out the bit I don't want so I want x1 to be positive, so I'll cross out the bit where x1 is negative. That's that bit, this bit here. And I want x2 to be positive, so I'll cross out the bit where x2 is negative, and that's that bit here. And that makes it easier because I only have to draw my graph in this corner here. So, let's start all the way over here now and do this inequality. x1 plus 2x2 is less than or equal to 16. Now, if it was equal to 16, then I would be drawing a line. And let me pretend that it is equal to 16 and figure out what that line is. All I need to draw a line is two points. And the x1 and x2 intercepts are convenient points to draw. So if x1 is 0, that gives me 2x2 is equal to 16, so x2 is 8. 2, 4, 6, 8. If x2 is equal to 0, that gives me x1 is equal to 16. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. There. And so my line is what I get when I join those two together. Like that. Now I want it to be less than or equal to 16, so let me sub in a point to see which side of the line I'm interested in. Let me sub in the origin. So if I put in 0, 0 into my formula, I'll get 0 for x1 and 0 for x2, so I'll get 0 is less than or equal to 16, which is true. So I want the bottom side of my line. So I want the bit below my line, so I need to cross out the bit above my line. Excellent. Well, the, my set is taking shape. Let's look at the next one. 2x1 plus x2 is less than or equal to 12. So again, if that was equal to, that would be a line. Let me look at what that line is by finding its intercepts. If x1 is 0, that gives me x2 is less than or equal to 12. So 10, 12. And if x2 is 0, that would give me 2x1 is less than or equal to 12. So x1 is less than or equal to 6 which is here. So I join those two to get my line and I figure out which side of the line I want. So let me sub in the origin again. Here's the origin. It's 0, 0. If I put 0 here and 0 here, I'll get 0 is less than or equal to 12, which is true. So I want the bit below the line, so I'll cross out the bit above the line. So I'll cross out the bit above the line, that bit there, and I've got one more inequality to do, this one here. 
So let's treat it as if it's a line again. If x1 is 0, that gives me 2x2 is greater than or equal to 2, so x2 is 1 there. I've got if x2 is 0, x1 is 2, so that's there. And I join my two points together, and that gives me that line there. And again, I want to know if I have I need the below the line or above the line, so let me sub in the origin. There's the origin there. If I sub that into my formula, I'll get 0 here and 0 here. 0 is greater than or equal to 2. That's false. So I want the bit above my line, so I'll cross out the bit below. I want the bit above my line, so I'll cross out the bit below. And so here is my convex set, the bit that's not crossed out. So what I'll do is I'll colour it in properly and get rid of all the crossings so it'll be easier to see what's going on. And the bit I really wanted was this. And just to make it even easier, I'm going to put dotted lines for the other edges here that aren't part of the set. Excellent. So there's my feasible region based on all of those subject twos. Now all I need to do is actually maximise the function I'm interested in, which is this function here. And in order to do that, let me give it a name. Let y be equal to 3x1 plus 5x2. The theory of uh, maximization and convex sets says that the maximum value of this function will happen at one of the vertices of my set. And the vertices of my set are here, 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 and here. So an approach would be to figure out what the coordinates of all of those vertices are and sub them into my formula and whichever is the maximum gives me the maximum value of y. Another approach would be to draw the various places where y has various values. Let me show you. If y comes out to a number like 15, and I've chosen 15 because both 3 and 5 go into it, then that means that 3x1 plus 5x2 is equal to 15. And that equation is a line which I can draw on my page. So let me draw it on my page. If x1 is 0, that gives me 5x2 is 15, so x2 is 3. So that's here. If x2 is 0, that gives me 3x1 is 15, so x1 is 5. That's here. So to get my line, I join those two up. And that line is where y is equal to 15. Well, let me draw another place where y has certain values. If y is equal to 30, that's another number that both 3 and 5 go into, then 3x1 plus 5x2 is equal to 30. And that's another line. And I can draw that line quite easily. If x1 is 0, I get 5x2 is 30. So x2 is 6, which is here. And if x2 is 0, I get 3x1 equals 30. So x1 is 10, which is here. So to get the line, I join those up. And that's where y is equal to 30. So you can see, as this line gets further out, the value of y increases. So what I need to do is figure out the last point that one of those lines meets. I could get this line, and I could drag it up my page and notice that the last point it meets is that one out there. If I'd actually drawn a straight line, that would be a lot more obvious. But we can see that if we draw a line here, then the maximum happens at this point just here.
So what I need to do now is uh, figure out what that point is. And that point is the place where those two lines meet. So we know that the maximum occurs when x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 16 and when 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 12. So if I solve those two equations simultaneously that will give me the points where the maximum is. So my equations are x1 plus 2x2 is equal to 16 and 2x1 plus x2 is equal to 12. So I can put that into a matrix to solve it. 1, 2, 16, 2, 1, 12. Uh, row 2 minus 2 of row 1. Uh, 1 minus 2 times 2 is minus 3. 12 minus 2 times 16 is 12 minus 32, which is minus 20. Um, if I multiply the top row by 3, I'll get 3, 6, 48, 0, minus 3, minus 20. And then if I add 2 of row 2 to row 1, I'll get 3, 0, 8. And so finally, I have 1, 0, 8 thirds. 0, 1, 20 thirds. So therefore the maximum occurs when x1 equals 8 on 3 and x2 equals 20 on 3. Therefore max value of y is y equals 3 times 8 on 3 plus 5 times 20 on 3 which when I calculate it is 124 on 3.